Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, circle with the center O along with its uh, tangent uh, AB as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, C is the point of uh, tangency and the length uh, of this uh, tangent uh, AB is uh, X uh, centimeter and moreover this horizontal uh, segment uh, AP is uh, 4 centimeter and this point uh, P is uh, on the circle and furthermore uh, the area of this uh, green circle has been given to us uh, as 100 pi centimeter square and now our task is uh, to find the length uh, of this uh, tangent uh, AB in other words uh, we are going to solve for X value Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. We have been given the area of this uh, green shaded circle as uh, 100 pi centimeter square. So therefore our very first task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, green circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where this uh, lowercase uh, r is the radius uh, of this uh, green circle and since the area has been given to us as 100 pi so therefore I'm going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, 100 pi equals to pi times uh, r square and now I am going to divide both sides by pi to solve our radius uh, r we can see this pi and pi is gone likewise this pi and pi cancels out so therefore r square turns out to be equal to 100 let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be positive 10 uh, centimeter so therefore the radius uh, r of this uh, green circle turns out to be 10 centimeter and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency C as you can see over here and now we can see that this uh, is the radius uh, C O of this uh, green circle so therefore this radius C O is going to be 10 uh, centimeter and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees so no wonder uh, this angle uh, A C O is going to be 90 degrees uh, since this uh, C O is the radius and this uh, A B is the tangent line and in this uh, next step I have dropped this uh, perpendicular PQ on this uh, line uh, OC and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, radius uh, OC is uh, 10 centimeter and we know that this uh, segment AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, CQ if this segment is 4 then this uh, CQ segment is going to be 4 centimeter as well so therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, OQ is going to be 10 minus 4 is going to give us uh, 6 centimeter and if we draw this uh, perpendicular diameter uh, MN uh, as you can see then we can see that this uh, ON is the radius of this uh, green circle so therefore this is going to be 10 centimeter and we know that this uh, radius uh, on is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, bc so therefore this segment uh, bc is going to be 10 centimeter as well and now we know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, a b is uh, x so therefore uh, this uh, ac segment length is going to be x uh, minus uh, 10 and we know that this uh, segment uh, AC is going to be equal to this segment uh, PQ. If this segment is X minus 10, then this uh, PQ segment is going to be X minus 10 uh, as well. And finally, I have connected this center O with this uh, point P. And we can see that this uh, OP is the radius of this green circle as well. So this is going to be 10 centimeter. 
And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle PQO. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's a uh, Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 10. And our other two legs are uh, 6 uh, and uh, x minus 10. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, minus uh, 10 whole uh, square plus uh, 6 uh, square equals to 10 uh, square. And now let's simplify. I'm going to leave this thing as it is. x minus uh, 10 whole uh, square plus uh, 36 uh, equal to 100. And now I'm going to subtract uh, 36 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore, uh, x uh, minus uh, 10 whole uh, square turns out to be equal to 64 on the right hand side. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on the left hand side and the right hand side as well. And here we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore our x minus 10 value turns out to be either positive or negative 8. And since we got these two values, uh, positive and negative, so we are going to separate them. I'm going to put down x minus uh, 10 equals to positive 8 and the other value x minus uh, 10 uh, equals to negative uh, 8 and here I'm going to add uh, 10 on uh, both uh, sides and here we can see this uh, 10 and 10 is gone so therefore x value turns out to be positive uh, 18 and likewise we are going to add 10 on this side uh, as uh, well and here this uh, negative 10 and 10 is gone so therefore uh, x value turns out to be positive uh, 2 centimeter and now we can see that x equal to 2 value is not uh, feasible so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 2 value and we are going to accept this uh, x equal to 18 so thus our x value turns out to be 18 centimeter by using the very first method and now in this uh, next step I am going to share with you the coordinate uh, geometry. Let's assume that this uh, point B is our origin. In other words, uh, this point is uh, 0, 0. Then our this point uh, P is going to be 4, comma, x. And moreover, since the radius uh, of this circle is uh, 10, so therefore uh, this uh, center O is going to be 10, uh, 10. And now let's recall the equation of a circle x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. Where our center is uh, hk as you can see over here. And the radius uh, is lowercase r. So therefore our h value is 10, k value is 10 and our radius r value is 10 as well. And furthermore our this point p on the circle is 4 comma x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So we are going to write down 4 minus 10 whole square plus we got x minus 10 whole square equals to radius is 10 whole square and here we can see we got uh, negative 6 uh, whole uh, square plus uh, x uh, minus uh, 10 whole uh, square equals to 100 and now we can see negative 6 uh, whole square is uh, positive 36 and now we are going to subtract 36 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, x minus 10 uh, whole square turns out to be 64 and now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our x minus uh, 10 value is going to be positive or negative 8 and here I have split uh, these two positive and negative signs uh, over here and if we solve both of these equations, our x values turn out to be 18 and 2. And once again, this x equal to 2 value is not feasible. 
So therefore, we are going to reject this uh, x equal to 2 value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 18 value. So thus our x value turns out to be 18 centimeter as well by using this uh, second method. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.